Hello, my name is Stevie Martin with the VIA Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will go into how to verify secure communications between an Avaya Agile Communication Environment, or ACE, and Avaya Aura Communication Manager. Before we start, we will take a quick overview of what we will be doing. For ACE, secure communication with client applications is achieved using secure ports with secure sockets layer or transport layer security encryption. To establish communication between ACE and the VIA or Communication Manager, we will need to ensure that the signing authority of the Communication Manager's certificate is configured as trusted on VIA ACE. By default, a VIA ACE configures certain signing authorities as trusted during installation. If the Communication Manager is already configured with a server certificate that is signed by one of these authorities, then no further configuration will be needed to establish secure sockets layer. These are the SIP Product Certificate Authority, and the VIA Product Root Certificate Authority. Before you begin, you need the following. You need to know the IP address of the Communication Manager, and you will need to know the port number for the Communication Manager's AE services. Typically, this will be port 8765. As part of this video, we will show how to verify this port is enabled on the Communication Manager and what you need to do if it is not. To do this verification, we need root access to the Communication Manager's command line interface. You also need administrative login and password to access the IBM WebSphere Administrative Console on Avaya ACE. As previously mentioned, we will first verify that the AE Services port on the Communication Manager is configured and enabled. You access the Communication Manager command line interface using PuTTY or some other tool that supports SSH. From the Communication Manager command line interface, enter the command SAT, S-A-T. For the terminal type, you will enter terminal of W2KTT. From the SAT command line, to determine the current status of the service, you would enter the command display IP services. If the service has been enabled, we will see it in the display. Note what the local port is for when we access WebSphere on the VIA ACE server. If the service has not been configured on the Communication Manager, then we need to add it. To do this, at the command line, we would enter Change IP Services. Once we're in the Change window, we would enter the AE Services, set it to Enabled, and enter the port that we'll be using. Once again, the port that we enter will need to be recorded for use when we access the IBM WebSphere on a VIA A server. Once we have verified that the AE Services port is enabled on the Communication Manager, we will access the Avaya ACE Server's WebSphere Administrative Console using HTTPS hostname port 9043 admin. In this page, you enter the administrative login and password that you acquired previously, and this will take you to the initial welcome screen. In the navigation pane on the left, select Security, then select SSL Certificate and Key Management. Once you're in this screen, you will go to the center pane and under related items, you select key stores and certificates. This will bring up a list, and in that list, you will see Sell Default Trust Store. You would select that, and then under Additional Properties on the right, you select Signer Certificates. In this screen, we see the assignment authorities that have been authorized by VIA ACE. What we want to do here is send a request to the Communication Manager asking for the certificate authority that the Communication Manager uses. To do this, in the top row of the table, we click on Retrieve from Port. In the Retrieve from Port screen, in the Host field, we enter the IP address of the Communication Manager. In the Port field, we enter the AE Services local port that retrieved from Communication Manager earlier. We verify that our SSL configuration for outbound connection is set to Cell Default SSL settings. In the Alias field, we enter a unique string. Once we have entered this unique string, we will click Retrieve Signer Information. Avaya ACE will query the Communication Manager and retrieve the signer information. Once you have this information, you inspect the Issued By field. If the field contains Avaya Product Root Certificate Authority or SIP Product Certificate Authority, then no further action is needed as these authorities are trusted on Avaya ACE. If the Certificate Authority does not already exist on Avaya ACE, then click Apply. The signer authority will then be installed as trusted on Avaya ACE and you have completed this procedure. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor.
For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.